Major League Baseball scheduled to open the regular season this weekend. Reds and Indians both with home games slated for Monday. Cincinnati hosting Philadelphia, so hey, at least one of those teams will have uh, at least one day in first place from their respective divisions. On the other hand, the Tribe is at home for Boston, two teams with, let's just say, more realistic playoff possibilities. And of course, college basketball's Final Four is this weekend. All told, lots to take in, including Austin Scott with a state tournament edition of the top five plays. We begin the final winter sports countdown at the Schottenstein Center as LCC takes on Roger Bacon. Dantez Walton takes a pass from Trey Cobbs. He drives down the baseline and finishes with a one-handed slam in poster fashion. Then on the next possession, Walton gets the steal and does what we've seen so many times this season, throws it down on the other end. For the second straight year, Troy Yance, Ottawa Glandorf Lady Titans finished as state runner-up. They wrapped up the 2015-2016 season with a stellar 26-3 record. The Lincoln View Lancers finished their season in Columbus as well. They left as a state runner-up in Division 4 and ended the season with a 27-2 record. The Lima Senior Spartans capped off their historic season with a 29-1 record after their loss to Westerville South in the state title game. Jordan Humphrey's floater with 1.8 seconds left in the game gave Westerville South a 57-55 victory. Taking the top spot on this state tournament recap are the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds. They claim their second state championship in three years with a convincing 66-44 victory over Cleveland Villa Angela St. Joseph. We hope you enjoyed the final countdown of the winter sports season, and we'll start seeing home runs, PRs, and forehand winners on next week's edition of the Top 5 Plays.